Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. So I am so excited about this video because I am going to be trying out the Primac makeup. So I was in Primac the other day and I was just having a look around and I thought, why don't I do a video on the Primac makeup? So obviously I bought quite a few items. So I'm just gonna kind of get stuck in and start straight away. So to start off with, I'm just going to use a face serum. I'm using the Nip and Fab uh, Vitamin C Serum. I got this the other day as well when I bought all the Primark stuff. Uh, and I'm just trying it out, just seeing how it goes with my skin. Um, so far so good, but obviously it does take time to kind of judge a product. So I'm just going to rub that in. So I always start off with the eyes, so I'm going to do the same. But before I start off, I just wanted to show you this. So this is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal eyeshadow, Melted Eyeshadows and this is the Primark version. How similar do they both look? It's like identical, obviously they've got their own names, but that's the wrong way around. But I could not believe how same they are, so I had to buy it because this is I think, well I got this at a good price because I got it at the Black Friday, but I think it's about 18 pounds. This was three. So that is quite interesting. I might try this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my P. Louise ba um, eyeshadow base and then I'll be right back. Now I've primed my eyes with a P. Louise base. So I think I'm gonna start with the color top. I think I'm gonna take that and put that in the crease. So just taking the shade top, I'm just putting that into the crease. That does look quite nice. Hmm. Next, I want to take the shade Espresso. I'm going to see what that one is like. It's like a more of a deep brown. So I'm just going to basically apply that to the outer corner. I feel like that one's not as pigmented. But actually, let's just apply it to the full lid. I've got something in mind. I want to try out the um, melted shadow as well, so I think we're gonna do it like this. So at least that way we get to see both of them. Just put. Actually, it looks quite nice like that. I feel like you can. See it, it's showing off the color a lot more. I'm just gonna blend them out. Actually, looks quite nice that. I'm gonna take some of the champagne color and just put it into the inner corner, just so we can kind of see what the sparkly shadows are, well, the pearl shadows are like. So, actually, that's quite good. That looks quite nice, actually. Not bad. So far, not so bad. Now I want to try this, so I'm gonna take the metallic side, basically like that. Put it right into the middle. Ooh, that looks nice. That actually looks really nice. I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. That actually looks so nice. I feel like the Huda one is a lot more glittery. This is probably, a, it's more like actually metallic, not a glitter. That looks quite nice. That's like the eyeshadow kind of done. Looks quite nice actually. Yeah, they're not bad. They're actually quite good. I'm quite impressed with the metallic eyeshadow that I've put in the middle. It's quite nice. That I'd like to use it all over the lid as well. I think it'd look quite good with some lashes. The next item I got was this vinyl liner. So it's basically an eyeliner and this was actually, I think two pounds. So I thought I'm gonna give this a try as the hair goes. So this is like a bit of a felt tip brush, um, not a proper brush. So let's see. It's applying well, not bad. So there it is, the eyeliner is on and it's actually not bad. 
So I'm just gonna see, I think it is a matte finish, but we'll kind of see how it sets. So guys, I'm back with both eyeliners on and you know what, it actually wasn't bad. So I purchased the uh, Coal Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the shade Wide Awake and this was one pound. So I'm gonna just try that as well. So this isn't brilliant. I'm really having to rub it on. So there we are. So that's that's not brilliant because it does take quite a while. I like it to kind of come on straight away. But yeah. So next I'm gonna move on to foundation. So with Primark, they actually had quite a, a range of foundations. They had matte finish, they had uh, she sheer glow, I think. Um, but because I was with Ileana, it was difficult. So I just kind of picked up whatever I seen. And the first thing I came across was this one the perfect finish foundation so this one says it's a medium to full coverage natural finish moisturizing with vitamin e uh, this was actually only two pound fifty so i'm excited to try what it's like um i got the shade light beige i didn't exactly get a chance to test any i couldn't find a tester for them so i've just basically got this one i'm gonna give it a try and see what it's like let's see i'm just gonna put it directly onto the skin doesn't look like a bad shade actually. I don't I don't know if I like the smell. It smells a bit odd. I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that in and see how it goes. So that's what the foundation looks like. I mean, I like the coverage because I don't like it too heavy. Um, and it does look okay on the skin. I'm guessing you can build this if you would like the coverage to be more. I actually don't think that's a bad shade for me, seeing as I didn't do any testing of the shade. Next, I got the concealer. It is the Liquid Concealer Medium Coverage. Now this looks like the NYX packaging. Oh, at the back it says vitamin E and aloe vera, so that might be good. I'm just gonna. And again, I didn't kind of check the color. I just picked up one that I thought might be okay. So this one's a shade nude. I would like the shade to be a bit more brightening. I feel as though it's a little bit more gray so let's see i'm having to go back in quite a lot because i feel like this is not picking up a lot of product i think i could have got a shade lighter but we'll just see how it goes it's given a nice finish actually so not so bad I actually don't think that's bad. That's actually quite good. And for two pounds, I don't think you can go wrong, actually. That's quite good. Next, so I like to do cream contour, but they didn't actually, well, I couldn't find a cream contour. So I picked up the concealer stick, which was 90p. 90p, good. 90p, guys. Like, seriously. And this is in the shade Cinnamon. I just basically picked up a dark shade. I just wanted to see if I could do a cream contour with it so I'm just gonna try that's like that it's like a lipstick basic so let's just test it out I'm not actually drawing lines because I feel as though it's gonna be harder to blend out so I'm doing little little kind of like tiny lines not a one big line but for the nose obviously a line I'm just gonna blend that out with that. I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna blend it out and see what it's like. That's actually not bad, guys. Guys, that's actually blended out quite well, so for 90V. That's 
that's actually done quite well. Mm. You never know, might have a new contour, cream contour, guys. Yeah. Now let's blend the nose. You see, the nose takes a little bit longer. Blended out quite well. Now I'm just going to go and set the powder and the contour. So for powder, I got this loose powder. I actually think it's too pink for me, but I couldn't see any other colour. I could only see this one. So I just picked it up. It's ivory. Ivory does tend to be quite pink. I don't know why I picked it up, but I couldn't see any other powders and I needed something to set the makeup. So I basically got this and it's two pounds. Yeah, I think this is way too pink. I'm gonna have to make it work. So I've got that ready. I'm just gonna take out some creases and I'm just gonna set that. Guys, actually that's not a bad powder. It set it quite well. Just gonna have to see how it goes through the day, but yeah. Even though it's not the right color, when I've put it on, it doesn't look bad. So for contour, I picked up this bronzer and it was one pound, one pound. Now this, if this works, that's good. So that's the shade. Just gonna get my handy hula brush. I'm gonna go in. Let's see what this is about. You don't need a lot of the product my sideburns away since i've had iliana i've got the weirdest like mane growing it's like that long right now and when i put my hair back look look actually look can you see this this is not normal it just it's literally everywhere so when i tie my hair back it just doesn't look good at all not at all so next it's highlighter i couldn't actually find a single highlighter so i've had to buy the palette i mean it's only six pounds and it says Glow Getter, and these are the shades in it. So I think I'm gonna like this shade and this shade. I'm gonna try this shade today, which is Miami Vibes. I've been missing my honeymoon, where it was in Miami, because I basically watched Bad Boys, and that's in Miami, and then now this is called Miami Vibes, so I think it's a hint to go back. Just trying to get into the package. So yeah, I couldn't find a cream uh, highlighter and I love cream highlighters, but they didn't have one. Um, they might have been out of stock because I know they do do one, but yeah, it's. I think it must have been out of stock. So I'm just gonna go with the powder one. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Just to give that bit of oomph, uh, I'm gonna spray my face with this Nip and Fab Mist before I put that on because it might actually make it pop because I do feel cream highlighters make the powder highlighter pop. So I'm just gonna put that on. let it sit a little bit now I'm gonna take Miami vibes and pop that on that is not bad bit gold for my liking that's not bad it's actually really good okay that's a good payoff that so it's six pounds for this palette, so it's like pound a highlighter because there's six highlighters in it. That looks quite good. Next, for lips, I picked up their lip liner. This is in the shade Toast, and I'm just gonna try that. That glides on well. So that's the lip liner on. It actually glides on really well, but I don't know if it's gonna stay so good. So we're just gonna have to have a look. As for lipstick, I basically picked up two. So I picked up a matte lipstick and I picked up a liquid matte lipstick. So I don't know which one to try. I always use liquid lipsticks, but the matte one was quite intriguing. So I think I'm actually gonna use this because I always use li liquid lipsticks. And I'm gonna see how this goes. It looks good. 
glides on well. It smells like something. Oh, one minute. I have to. I have to get to the bottom of this. What does it smell of? Like chocolate. Yeah. It's a nice matte lipstick because it feels like obviously it's not a liquid lipstick, so it does feel nice on the lips, but you can tell it's matte, it's not got any sheen to it, so it's quite quite nice actually. So lastly, I actually did purchase their lashes. So I think Primark have loads of different lashes, so they have like lashes that range from a pound to five pounds to six pounds, I think. But I thought, do you know what? I want to try the pound lashes just to see if they're any good because I feel like the ones that are about five pounds will be good because the five pounds and they look as though they're like other brands as well, not just Primark, but we know for sure this is the PS. And these are double trouble, so they look like they've got two lashes stuck together. So I'm actually gonna try these. So I'm gonna stick them on and be back with the finished look. So guys, this is the final look. This is all Primark makeup. The only two things that are not Primark is the eyebrows and the mascara. And she's telling you to. The reason I didn't get a mascara is because I'm, I was going to put lashes on anyway and it's just for the bottom lashes so I thought there's no point buying a mascara and because this little booby was with me, it was very hard to buy everything. Yes it was. You tell them. So I be naughty. D. Actually quite good you know, I've been looking at it in the mirror as well when I was putting my lashes on. Um, the lashes are actually quite good. The only thing about the lashes is that I don't like the double band. Um, the double band, sorry. I don't like the really thick band. It's a bit hard to kind of stick in the corners. Other than that, the lashes are actually a good pair of lash. You know, they look nice. They're full. She's just seen Coco, so she's quite excited. So I've got both of them here. I've got Coco and I've got Iliana. Oh, featuring Coco. Coco, Coco, Coco. So yeah, for the price that you're paying, I actually think it's not bad. Um, the foundation looks quite good. I mean, the finish just looks good. The highlighter looks so good. Um, I actually really like the lipstick as well. So I, <coughs> Alhamdulillah. So I actually like the lipstick as well. So guys, I'm actually gonna go now because I have both of them like crazy kids. She's just woken up. Coco wants to go out. So I am gonna see you guys soon. But yeah, overall, not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. It's actually quite decent. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I just thought, you know, do something different and review some products for you. Hope you enjoyed, hope you have a lovely day. Take care, bye. Bye. Hi guys, so I just thought I'd come back on the camera and just show you what the Primark makeup looks like. I put this on about one o'clock and now it's about, I think it's just about eight o'clock. So I've had it on for about seven hours or so. Um, and you know what? I'm actually really, really impressed. I actually did not think that it'd stay on so well. Obviously my lipsticks come off. I've eaten about 10 times. Um, you know, I've been eating and drinking and it wasn't a liquid lipstick. It was obviously just a normal matte lipstick. So it doesn't, it doesn't have a long wear. And it's actually lasted so good. My eye, that's just something that always happens whenever I wear lashes. I don't know why, I don't know what the connection is. But yeah, I, I always get like this red line in my eye whenever I wear lashes. So it's not these lashes and it's not this glue. So just thought I'd tell you that. But yeah, honestly, like I am really impressed. Like the eyes, same, fine the face, the highlight, the contour, the foundation, the concealer, the powder, it's all just kind of set really well. And, you know, I mean, when I went downstairs, so basically I asked them about my makeup, like my sister-in-law, my husband, my mother-in-law, and they couldn't believe that it was a primer makeup because it looked, they go, it just looks normal. It looks nice. Um, the only thing my husband said, I mean, which on camera you can't tell, but in real, the um, foundation is actually a little bit dark for me, uh, which he kind of pointed out straight away. But on camera, it doesn't look dark. It kind of looks just right for me. But yeah, I just thought I would come and show you that this is what it looks like after about seven hours wear. So yeah, actually, you know what? It's not bad, especially for the price you pay. Like, honestly, it's actually quite good. And yeah, I just thought I'd come on and show you. 
So I hope you have a lovely day. Hope you really enjoyed my view, uh, review of the products and I will see you soon. Bye.